We jump in our new Nissan Pathfinder and go. We find cool places to eat burgers. I like burgers. We see trees, mountains, and lakes. We sing corny songs. Drive through sand, climb rocks. I really like motorcycles. I love our new Pathfinder. Ever since we got it, we do a lot of this spontaneous stuff. The new seven passenger, 270 horsepower Nissan Pathfinder. Today on Camping Life Television, Spring Break in Florida features several ways to camp. From Everglades National Park to Festiva Keys KOA. Along the way, we'll test the latest and greatest in camping gear. Tag along for a trip to the legendary Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Experience camping amid natural beauty and solitude. He's one of the most popular camping riders in America. Spend a day in the backlands with the one and only Mr. California Outdoors, Tom Seenstra. From the pages of Camping Life magazine, this is Camping Life Television. Hi everybody, welcome to Camping Life Television. I'm your host, Carrie Bone. If you've seen our magazine, you know we're all about the coolest places to camp, the best gear to bring with you, and all the fun stuff to do once you're there. In our first story today, we're headed to South Florida for a camping adventure of a lifetime. Florida, we made it. If you're a camper in search of spring, you've found it. This is Florida, South Florida to be exact, a place with the perfect camper's checklist. Sunshine, check. Oceanfront, check. Beaches? Check. Fishing, canoeing, hiking, or hanging out? Check, 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 check. Camping in Florida in the winter months and early spring months is fabulous. The weather's beautiful, wonderful water temperatures. The mosquitoes are probably at their lowest uh, uh, population levels during these months. So this, if you're going to come to Florida camping, this is the time to be here. The first stop on our Florida-bound camping life, Spring Break, is one of America's largest swamps, a nice swamp known as Everglades National Park. It's big, covering 1.5 million acres, the third largest in the lower 48. There's plenty of wildlife and for anglers, plenty of fishing, especially amid the area known as the 10,000 Islands. We set up camp in the Flamingo Campgrounds, Talk about an ocean view. And when you're by the sea, what better place to make a tasty s'more? Make a what? You roast the marshmallow, cook the marshmallow, and put your chocolate on top of it, and then squish it together with the crackers, and then take a bite. That's right. That's how you make a s'more. We also discovered the Everglades was the perfect setting to field test the Lance Max truck camper. It's top of the line, and this model is one of the largest Lance builds. It features a full wall slide, aluminum frame, and the Lance lock system to keep the camper stable. Supersized luxury may be the best way to describe this Lance. Easy access and plenty of room to move around. As for comforts, plasma TVs, the skylights, queen bed, and full kitchen. The design feature that impressed us most is what Lance calls the basement. What we've actually done is put the floor on top of the wheel well, and then we put the tanks between the wheel well. The center of gravity is lower to the ground. It has lots of advantages, plus we can get some additional storage in a slide-out drawer in the back section. For a change of pace, we also pitched a tent in the Everglades, the new headquarters model from Eureka Tents. This is truly a family-sized tent. It just kind of snapped into place, and voila. Tent. Like I said, I think here in the Keys we're camping on the top of probably what was an ancient coral bed. Speaking of beds, the days of huffing and puffing to inflate the old air mattress, well, they're gone. Now these will actually take in air all by themselves. They're self-inflating. For kitchen conveniences, we tried out a solar panel from Brunton. It converted Florida sunshine into enough power to charge our cell phones and run a laptop computer. Even the camp kitchen utilizes high technology, like the single burner stove from Athena. As for an alarm clock, what's better than the smell of bacon in the morning? 
Our campsite ready, it was time to get out and discover what makes Everglades so special. One answer was in the air, an amazing array of bird life. We also had a front row seat to witness the cycle of life as played out in the Everglades. As the evening sun went down, we capped a perfect day by gathering around the campfire. Our plans tomorrow called for heading down Highway 1 to explore the Florida Keys and experience a different style of camping at a KOA campgrounds. On the way, we'll test the Jay Feather trailer from Jayco. Plus, Camping Life's Diane Johnson will sample the KOA lifestyle and meet some KOA characters. Time now for some camping quick tips. When you're camping in bug country, it's always a good idea to have your tent door facing into the prevailing wind. That way you get good ventilation going in, and insects tend to hang out in the eddy behind the tent. You'll be bug free. Here's a photo tip for when you're camping. Avoid shooting photos in the hot midday sun like now. The shadows will be too harsh. Your best pictures are made during the early morning hours and late afternoon. The light's softer, your photos will be much better. Whenever you're loading your travel trailer with extra gear and equipment, make sure you put the vast majority of that weight ahead of the axles. It'll provide greater towing stability. When Camping Life TV returns, time for a deep trip to the camp kitchen, where Chef John the Camping Gourmet will show you how to create, would you believe, monkey pickle sandwiches? The natural beauty and solitude are legendary. We've showcased a camping trip along the Minnesota-Canadian border in the BWCA. Please stay tuned. Camping Life Television is brought to you by Lawrence. We lead, we find, you win. Blue Ox, the most user-friendly hitch on the market. And Lance Campers, America's favorite truck camp. OLN is going on patrol with the E-Force. Put your engine in neutral. The E-Force. If you hesitate, you're going to get hurt. E-Force. Tonight at 10, only on OLN. He won his first championship at age five, but becoming king of the Cowboys turned into one bumpy ride. You wonder if you're ever going to be able to ride again. World Rodeo Champion Ty Murray is fearless. Premier Saturday at 10, only on OLN. On the road to adventure, Lance Campers put you in the middle of the action. Go where you want to go, when you want to go there. Lance Campers, tested tough. Take a Lance Camper on the road to your next American adventure. See the great new turn-ons in fish finders from Lowrance. The new X47 and X47 EX prove that more is now less. More great features, including water temp readings. High contrast 168 vertical pixel displays in two different screen sizes produce fantastic target detail. Four levels of gray, 800 watts of power, and depths to 600 feet. The X47 and X47 EX. Affordable new turn-ons from Lowrance. Gotta hook the string in the loop. Adrian, I made pie. No, thank you, Mrs. Wilson. It's Cherry, your favorite. You guys are gonna have to leave. But we open at nine. With over 80 floor plans and hundreds of dealers, it's easy to find your Jayco. Leaving it, that can be hard. Jayco, America's most livable RVs. Blue Ox has it all. A family of products for every RV. Sway Pro, the most user-friendly hitch you can find. True Center, when you need steering control, Blue Ox has it. Sport Carriers, when your ride needs a ride, think Blue Ox. From tow bars to brakes, Blue Ox has it all. And for the ultimate in customer care, you can count on us to meet your needs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Blue Ox, count on it. Camping Life Adventure continues as we head to Minnesota's North Woods, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area, 
a place that every camper should experience. When you travel the old-fashioned way, by foot or by paddle, when what you need to survive all...